Baylor is a good story this year, but so are the Purdue Boilermakers. Which side do you take? We have the answer next. Tony T here, breaking down March Madness, Vegas style, right here on GamblersTelevision.com. All right, now it's time for our coverage. It's Baylor versus Purdue. Purdue, a three-point favorite. Game to be played at Verizon Center, Washington, D.C., 2.50 p.m. Eastern Time. CBS at Talvise. You know, Baylor, they're really a non-deserving team in the NCAA tournament. As they're losers of eight of the last 13 games, and they suffered a loss in the Big 12 tournament to lowly Colorado, allowing 54% shooting. Baylor is a guard-oriented team with really not a very strong low post. Purdue, they're winners of 14 of the last 17 games, with two of those losses coming in overtime. You know, in losses to Illinois and at Indiana, both opponents had crazy shooting nights from the outside, hitting on at least 60% from three. This is a very young Purdue team, as they have two freshmen and two sophomores in their lineup. But it's worth noting that the Boilermakers get contributions as a team, as the motion offense is based on spacing and screening, and the shooter usually has a really good look at the basket. Guard Etwan Moore, he has a really good shot, and Robbie Hummel can hit the three as he converts on over 45% of his attempts, and he can rebound. The Boilermakers, they have a signature win at Wisconsin. Let me tell you, that's huge, as both teams were locked in a battle for the Big Ten title, and winning on the road against a Bo Ryan team is a huge accomplishment in my book. Take Purdue, lay the three here. Be sure to visit and bookmark my TV show page at www.gamblerstelevision.com for continuous point spread coverage from March Madness, Gamblers Television, get addicted.